G'day guys, today I've got another travel essentials DIY for you. So last year I did hand sanitizer, which we used a lot when we were overseas. And today I wanted to show you how we put our Tanzanian artwork up on canvases. So we've actually done it two different ways. One way we used a canvas that we had around the house and just stretched it over it. And the other one we created the frame and then stretched it over. So if you'd like to see both ways of doing it, then please stick around and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, let's get cracking. Firstly, we're gonna start off with the small canvas. So today I've got Dave, my husband, helping me out. He's actually gonna be creating the canvases and I'm gonna be filming. In the Zanzibar shop where we purchased this canvas, the gentleman there wrapped it in newspaper. As you can see here, Dave's unraveling. But Zanzibar was at the start of our trip, so we had to make sure it was kept safe. So what Dave did was he used some old drink bottles that we'd finished drinking clean drinking water from, some of my hair ties, elastic bands and floss that you use on your teeth to wrap it together and to keep it safe. And as you'll see here, it came back perfect. There wasn't any damage to it whatsoever. Supplies you will need your painting, a blank canvas, a staple gun, some spring clamps to help with stretching the painting over the frame, and some scissors. Firstly, lay the painting over the canvas and lay it up how you'd like. Then, stretch the painting over the edge of the canvas and using your clamps, hold it in place. Repeat this same process on all four sides. So you wanna pull the painting really tight so it's really stretched over the canvas and then using the spring clamps, hold it in place. Now for the corners, you wanna pull it down tightly so that you've stretched it and then cross it back on itself. And then using the staple gun, you wanna hold it in place with a staple. And then you wanna continue going around the canvas, tightening and stapling. Ideally have the staple gun facing away from your body. Throughout this process, continue to stretch the painting over the canvas so that you have a nice flat painting on the front. Once you've completed all four sides and you've removed the spring clamps from everywhere, then it's time to just clean it up a bit. So using the scissors, cut off the excess material. Dave then added a couple more staples just to make it fully secure and then we we're finished. So the second canvas we made from scratch. So this painting we also bought in Zanzibar and so I was a little bit nervous opening it because it got rained on when we were on safari. We were watching these three cheetahs and the rain was just dripping on the canvas but as you can see no damage was done, just a little bit of dust. So that was such a relief. I absolutely love this painting of the Big Five. Supplies for this DIY project. Measuring tape and a pencil, a saw and a miter box to help stabilise the timber as you're sawing it. Some pine, we picked this up from the local hardware store. Just make sure it's straight and that it's not bent. We bought four pieces. A staple gun, two eye screws, string and scissors for hanging up the canvas at the end of the project. Firstly, we began measuring up the painting. I don't think you can do this too many times, to be honest. You want to make sure that the wood is covering a bit of the painting so that when you stretch it over the other side, you're only seeing painting on the front and not any of the white material. Once you've measured the length, then you need to measure the height between those two pieces of timber. We then headed back out to the garage and began sawing the four pieces of timber. Please give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it and let me know in the comments what you think of the paintings. And if you've bought artwork before overseas, I'd love to know where from. Before we start stapling the frame, you want to measure the painting against the frame to make sure it's the right size. If it's too big, then this is the perfect time to cut down required. Once you're happy with it, then begin stapling the corners. We did two on each join, the front and on the back. 
We then went back to the shed and cut diagonal supports for the frame. Dave sawed four, one for each corner. Dave then stapled the diagonal pieces into the frame with two on each join on the front and the back for each corner. To ensure that the frame is fully secure, each staple was then hammered. Just make sure you do it on a nice firm surface like concrete, not on carpet. Then we began stapling the painting to the canvas. Now we've deliberately done it with the painting facing up as the painting wasn't exactly the same on each side. So we had to work out what we wanted viewed and what we didn't. We then folded each corner so that the material was nice and stretched and then we stapled. And then finally we needed to measure 20 centimetres from the top, which is the top third of the canvas, for where we were going to screw in our eye screws. We screwed one on each side, we measured the string so that it was double the length of the canvas and then we tied a knot in the middle. So guys, what did you think? Is this something you're going to try with your artwork? Let me know in the comments below what you're going to put on a canvas. Alrighty guys, I'll see you next week for another DIY Wednesday. Bye!